Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be reviewing and building the Dubai set by Lego Architecture. Um, it also hosts one of the biggest towers in the world. And I can't wait to build this set and review it for you guys. Welcome back everybody. Today in this review I will be opening the Lego architecture set. You guys can see here is Dubai. The set numbers is 21052. 740 pieces and it's ages 16 and up. I'm wondering why the heck they put it for 16 and up but they did. Uh, maybe because there's a lot more smaller pieces than normal. The, Dubai has, a, has the tallest tower in the world, the Burj Khalifa. But now, let's move on to the unboxing and build. Hey guys, um, before I get into this, feel free to subscribe. And also, Baby Yoda is here to watch me build this set, if you guys can see him. Here, Baby Yoda, bobblehead. But, let's continue on with the build and review and unboxing, all of those. There we go. A lot more blue, as I can see in here, with the studs. It's just one small bag just for all these blue studs. Then we got bag one. Another bag three full of blue studs. Bag two. Another bag three filled with more blue and gray stuff. Here's the instruction booklet which usually has all the information you need with with these sets about the real life version um, I will be showing that near the end of this video or in the review segment but now let's get right on to the build
here we have the instruction booklet to show you guys the information about Dubai. Here is the Dubai. Um, I'm not really going to read the facts about it, but this is the crossroads between Europe, Asia, and Africa. Um, the Jumeirah Emirates Tower, which are these, which the Lego versions have to say are actually pretty accurate. They don't normally get stuff like on the dot, but these towers, they look pretty accurate. Minus the blue not being super clear, but it's understandable. The Dubai frame, which is just a golden frame. It shows for the Lego set. Um, the Dubai fountains. And Burj Khalifa, again, is the tallest tower, um, which is 2,716 feet in the air, or 828 meters. In the Burj Al Arab, um, or Arab, Arab, um, it's a very expensive hotel, and that's what I know. It's also one of the tallest hotels, I believe. So, well, that's where all the information ends. But now let's move on to the actual buildings and review. Okay, guys, um, here is Burj Khalifa, the Burj Al Arab, the two towers, um, the Dubai frame, and the Dubai fountains. Um, let's start off here. If you guys can see again, they're pretty they're pretty accurate for something this small, this scale. So that's what I'm pretty happy about these. They got it very accurate. Sorry if it's not a bit centered. Um, here's like a little street and it leads over to here, where your frame is. Pretty much a lot more gold than I expected, and a lot of blue. With the Dubai fountains right here, and the Burj Khalifa, which I believe stands at like a foot tall in Lego form. Well, at my a, my, a micro school, micro scale le Lego form. But if Lego made may made this, but minifigure scale, this thing would be humongous. I want to say at least um. Maybe 12,000 pieces because of the, the Burj Al Arab. Um, here, wait, this is Burj Al Arab. This is the Burj Khalifa. Um, Burj Al Arab is the hotel. We, I, and uh, I forgot, is this, I think this is the largest one in the world. Correct me in the comments below if, if, I'm, if I'm right or wrong. Um, here is here it's very it's kind of awkward how it's a seven star hotel as well so um but with the lego form this is supposedly um i believe a helicopter pad one thing is um they didn't include sadly was a helicopter print for the top of it um here with this it's kind of tricky to get in the right position because this is connected by this little thing. If it does, it just exposes this and it's like kind of annoying. It annoys me a little bit. So that's one thing that annoys me is like this little area of the Burj Al Arab and Lego form. They do give you a lot of blue for one reason. This. And my god, this thing was a pretty much a pain in the butt to build for one reason. Um, you have to build these multiple times, and for me, since I have big fingers, so much small pieces, my hands just felt like there were needles in them. I don't know how, but I felt like they were needles. Um, these little tra these little trees as well were kind of a pain to fit on, because I forgot them until I, after I put on these buildings, so it's like trying to get them all in there correctly. If you know how that feels. Yeah, it gets kind of annoying. And these pieces right here, um, and there's there's two like sidewalk pieces over here as well that I forgot to put in. I had to put it in like this, so it's kind of also another pain to put on. Um, these things can also be easily removed, so much easier than the San, San the San Francisco one. Um, and this one is much bigger, obviously, and much more pieces. Um, the San Francisco had 500 something, this one has 700, and most of those pieces are in the Burj Khalifa. 
but turning it around the size of them it's kind of like it's like a, it I don't really like the sides of the towers because they're just super flat and there's nothing to you you can just see like the stud designs if I turn it around you guys might see this it's the same for the other building hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did hit the share button to share to all your friends hit the like button if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit that subscribe button see you in the next one bye